Okay, round two. So this time we're gonna take a look at PhotoFox. Um, we'll describe that one. Okay, so this is a fun app. Um, I've played around a little bit with it, but I'm by no means an expert. Um, this isn't necessarily my style, so that's probably why I haven't played with it as much. But I know some of you guys really like this type of photography, and so I think you could have a lot of fun without having to pay a bucket of money. Um, so this is the free version. There is a pro version. Um, I think it's, I don't actually know how much it is. So you can look it up if you're interested in using all the features. But for right now, we're just going to try something fairly um, not too crazy. So um, let's say we're taking this one. So I have my red hand washing, uh, dishwashing gloves on. Um, the nice thing about this is that you do have layers. So you could do like another layer on top. Oh, it doesn't work on the computer. Um, another layer on top of each other. Good Lord. Um, you can do stickers. You can do all kinds of different images. Um, you can choose another image to layer on top of it. Um, I'm not going to right now. Um, that's how you get a lot of those really cool blended pictures is that you're gonna add a, a layer up here. Um, and when you do that, you can then um, change the opacity and things like that. They have tutorials on here too, which is pretty cool. So that's how I ended up learning the little bit that I do even know um, is that I watched the tutorials on the app and it was actually quite helpful. Um, so I'm actually not gonna add a layer right now. I'm gonna show you they've got adjustments so we can do exposure, we can do contrast, sharpening, um, when you see all of these little guys down here, that's where we start getting into um, trials and things like that, which if you want to, that's totally fine. Um, by the way, I tried putting this in airplane mode, doesn't work with the screencasting. So we're going to have to deal with all of my text messages. Um, you can change temperature, tint, all kinds of really cool things on there. Um, if we go into the blending, that's where if you had double layers, you could have um, blending happening and it actually um, if we were to, let's just go, eh, sure, we'll do this one just for funsies. So we'll do blending, say we want to do like an overlay of some kind. My husband is even texting me and he's in the house. <laughs> this is insane. Um, okay, so there's like a crazy one we could do. Um, so right now this, this layer here is selected, so I'm changing the opacity on this one. Um, you can hide layers if you're trying to not focus on it for right now. Um, what have you? Um, I'm going to delete that layer because I didn't want it. Uh, back to my first layer. Um, brushes, you can draw right on top of things or you can use these magic brushes, which is what we're going to do today. Um, so they've got all kinds of brushes. If it has a star, that's going to take you to a two, um, a trial or some kind of thing like that. So again, if you feel like doing a trial, if you feel like paying for this because it's like you're loving it, um, great, but you don't have to. So there's still a bunch. Um, so we're gonna add some steam because we're gonna make it look like I'm washing dishes and it's really hot water. Um, so, oh, just kidding. Ah, magic brush. There we go. Um, so I can just draw right on top of my screen um, with my finger and it starts making it look like I've got steam coming out of the bowl, which is kind of cool. Um, if I wanted to, I could add this craziness, but I don't. Um, there's all kinds of different cool effects on here. Uh, depending on the look that you want for your piece, you could get something cool. Looks like I have a neck tat. That's weird. Um, you can play with the brushes. You can also play with like a transform, so you can flip, rotate. Um, you can do specific effects, so I could do light effects. Maybe I want the northern lights in my picture. Uh, maybe I have a little like shing off of the, and so I can just use my hands or my fingers to twist that guy around. Maybe there's like a little bit of a reflection coming off of there um, through the window or something like that. Uh, that looks kind of funky, so we won't put it in there. There's all kinds of really fun things you can do. And so I 
totally challenge you guys to play with this, see how it goes, um, and have some fun with it. If you really love it, go ahead and get the um, paid edition. There's all kinds of fun things to do, though. Um, you can do vignettes, pretend you have glaucoma. Um, you can do urban, because we're, ooh, we're so edgy. Okay, this video is getting weird. I'm getting weird. Ooh, that's kind of cool, though. Um, there's all kinds of really cool, fun things on this app. So if you are bored, you're playing around, oh my gosh, um, this this one is a great one. We're gonna discard this one for right now. But again, that is Photo Fox. Um, super fun and lots of really cool things to try with it. Ending meeting.